coming to the five marker now, and it's still Caliban in the lead from Hogarth, then Carabas, then Blakeney, then Najinsky in fifth place, then Krepalana, who's six, and they're past the five marker now. And it's still Great now Cal with Caliban being pressed by Carabas, Hogarth in between these two, Najinsky's just in behind Carabas, Blakeney's over on the far rails, Krepalana's beginning now. It's the two Derby winners who look like being first and second. Lester Bigot looks over his shoulder. Blakeney's making ground on him, but Lester's just letting him canter. What a horse this is. He's trotted up. Najinsky's the winner. Blakeney's second. Kepalana was third. Kenabas is on the stand side. Shadastani is under pressure. Shadani has moved into the lead over on the far side. And Dancing Brave is coming there with a double handful. And next Pat Emery on Dancing Brave from Shadani. Tripti just moving in the third as they race to the line. Sheriff Star just misses the break as Polymos goes on. Polymos goes straight on into the lead now. From on the outside, top class, Carol House comes next. Then Nashwan, Kakarithis and Tisserand. Willie Carson just uh, checks... Uh, coming there, don't challenge him. It's Nashwan and Kakarithis now, the big two three-year-olds as they race towards the line. Nashwan on the far side, Kakarithis on the near side. As they race to the line, it's Nashwan and Kakarithis and Nashwan has won it. Nashwan has won it from Kakamiti's top class in third four. Fantastic light now has found daylight down the outside, staying on his millenary, racing well inside the final full and a half, and now fantastic light lays it down to Galileo. It's the big two, head to head on the far side, Galileo. On the near side, fantastic light. Galileo, the three-year-old, is fighting more. He's going on for Michael Kinnan inside the final 50. What a race, what a horse, Galileo. Fantastic. Away for the King George the Sixth and Queen Elizabeth Kipco stakes, enable draw wide, wide in the early stages as they begin their run downhill towards Swinley Bottom. Norway is ridden forward in the purple jacket ahead of stable companion Magic Wand. Anthony Van Dyke, the other Aidan O'Brien runner, another of the Aidan O'Brien runners just to pick up one or two scalps as they run into the home straight and Norway drifting off the inside, it's closed down by Crystal Ocean, Enable making rapid progress down the outside. Crystal Ocean goes on, but Enable is quick to challenge. Challenge, then hunting Horn and Valdgeist enable on the outside of Crystal Ocean and these two are kicking away from Valgeist in third racing on towards the final furlong and what a battle between them enable near side Crystal Ocean will not give in on the far side they go head to head toe to toe she's just in front enable racing up towards the line and she'll win a second King George what a race that was a horse race very wide as a day are got away strongly and Lone Eagle on the inside under Frankie de Tori. Uh, Love is just in behind those, uh, a touch keen early on racing down the hill. And Mishriff is the early back marker. So they cover the first quarter mile and it's Lone Eagle on the inside of a Dayar. Without wide of these is Broom who's recovered from that slow start to nearly lead the way now. Love is about three or four lengths back in fourth place and Mishriff is restrained at the back by David Egan. So heading on towards Swindley They Bottom. are from Mishriff. Love struggling to get on terms as they race on towards the final furlong and a half. Adair is holding Mishriff at the moment. Love trying hard inside the final furlong. Adair for Godolphin and William Buick by a length and a half to Mishriff. And he's holding on. He's relentless. And Adair the first horse since Galileo.